familiar with the Moto Blur service? Or So this is the back track. You can see it's got a very highly lit uh, keypad that shows up when you open up the phone. If you want to do browsing, you can use the back, this back track, and is a touchpad. And so you can do that to, you can see, using that, scroll up and down without putting your fingers on the screen. You can still use a touch screen, but it was another option for users who want to be able to have full screen visibility. Um, a 3.1 inch half VGA screen. It's got a, um, a 5 megapixel camera. You can see it's right there with a flash. Um, one of the neat things about it also, taking pictures, and I had this, I was uh, out and about, I had a, uh, it does geotagging too. So you can take a picture and then uh, pop the geotag on it, that automatically gets assigned to the photo. It's another interesting element of the of the phone. And for this size phone, it's very, or with a 3.1 inch display, 5 megapixel, it's very small, light, and pocketable as well. So if you were to, uh, I don't know if I'm upsetting your picture here, but if you were to uh, basically um, take this phone and, you know, hold it, you can see how light and pocketable it is. It's really very small. The display goes right to the edges here, and with the reverse hinge, it enables us to put all the hinge mechanism here so you can get a very narrow-like device. So uh, I'm operating on Wi-Fi. This is the blur service, and so you've got on the, on the main screen here, um, I have several widgets on my home screen. I've got my Twitter updates, so i uh, got a quote from um, someone on there. Um, happenings, on the Happenings widget, you can get feeds from a variety of different things. Here's a, a, um, a Facebook request from Elizabeth Taylor, wants to be my friend, so that's, that's great. <laughs> I didn't know she was into Facebook, but apparently so, and, and I should probably accept that. Um, and you could scroll, so it has various ones. Here's Kimberly Wilson, friend request, several, your friend request, all their updates. So I can also get Twitter feeds, so this is a Wall Street Journal Twitter feed. Um, you can subscribe to those and get those on the happenings. If you're a Cubs fan like I am, I can get all the latest uh, Twitter feeds on the Cubs. You can then you know, click on the link right on your home screen, and then it pops up the browser. And then, uh, what browser is that? Uh, this is the uh, the native Google browser in there. But as, uh, as Sanjay said, it does have uh, it has support for uh, uh, not the Flash 10.1, but the lower level. Um, and it's also, uh, uh, as I said, it's working over Wi-Fi. So I'm up the Wi-Fi point in here. Expect that to support Flash. What's that? What do you expect that to support Flash? Um, we are going to upgrade the phone to Android 2.1, and most likely in that time frame, um, it would probably be the browser would be upgraded that time as well. There's supporting Adobe Flash 9.1 or? Uh, I'm not sure. Of. Okay, I, I can check on that. What's the price point? point? I missed the. There's no price point announced at this point. And no carrier announced. No carrier announced, but it's going to be multi-region. Um, but at this point, no announced carriers and no amounts of price points. When's that going to, isn't uh, that a key factor in this whole equation? Yeah, the car carriers are all, carriers are all in, in um, I mean, there are carriers with it, we're just not announcing it. Uh, and this is going to be launching uh, first half of this year. What version does it launch with? Uh, this is launching with um, version 1.5, 1, 1 okay. which is Cupcakes, and then it'll be upgradable to so, 2.1. So click and back click will they go at the same time? Uh, click is also, as Sanjay announced, is going to be upgradable to 2.1 as well. But Do you have this specific date in terms of when, which month, which to no, we don't have any any date on that, but it's it's um, it will be upgraded this year to 2.1. Um, so again, let's see what what else can I tell you about this device here? Could you? Sure. So, 3.1 half VGA screen. Um, I mentioned the 5 megapixel camera. I mentioned the Wi-Fi. Uh, camera, do you have the LED flash? Uh, it's got a flash. You see right there? Okay. Uh, it's autofocus. Mm -hmm. Take a picture uh, of us. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see who all can we get in the picture here. We're taking a picture of them. They, they seem to be chatting. <laughs> I think, you know, since you would volunteer, there you go. Hold on here. Let me go back to the home screen. Oh, it's hot. Yeah, that's the exposed keyboard. And uh, firing, firing up the camera here. Uh, All right. Let's see. Let's frame it appropriately. There we go. And a one, and a two, and a three. Let's focus. There we go. So it's kind of an interesting indoor lighting environment here. You can pick, you can pick that up. Of course, you can attach. Attach these emails. You can click on it to make it larger. Yeah. 
All right, you can go right to the gallery. You can set it as your wallpaper. We, we, do we like you as your wall, our wallpaper here? Mm -hmm. Well, for the rest of the night, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make you all the, the wallpaper now. So you can do that. Can you tell us about like RAM and ROM, the processor? Um, it's got a Qualcomm, I believe it's a 7201 processor in it. 528. Um, clock speed? Yeah. Yeah. And then it's got, um, um, I believe, uh, 512 by 256 RAM. Um, you may know the actual expandable card. It comes up to, we can expand this up to, is it 16 or 32 on the SD? 32 on the SD card. So it's got, um, SD card is installable. Do you know what it will ship with, like a 2 gigabyte card? It depends on the drive. So, I've got a I've got a four in here right now. So, keyboard. You need to you need to you need to show the. I'm I'm sure it's part of what you're gonna show anyway. But I'm impatient to to, to show the the tabletop mode. Yeah. And the, uh, so let me show you. That's thank you for reminding me, Elon. <laughs> so I'll go back to the uh, the main screen. So on here, what it does is you can put it into tabletop mode. That's the table. So okay. if we do that, yeah. what it does oh, is it will convert into. Alarm. You can have it. You can have it be an alarm. Whoop! I hit it. That's that's a good feature. Yeah. So it's it can be basically if you get it at the right thing and. You have the alarm clock, you can have the big clock on there, yep, yep. it'll have the weather widget on there. And where's the uh, USB port so it, it doesn't get in the way when you're on the table top mode? Right? Uh, the USB port is back here. Okay. Okay. So you can have the USB port plugged in so you can still charge it. Okay. How long will that, how long is the battery? Well, um, there's the... Do you know how many milliampers? The, um, let me pull it out. I believe it's, I believe it's about a, tw about a 1200. How long will that last? Uh, it depends on your use pattern, really. Yeah, right. it, it depends. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it, it widely varies. If you're a heavy browser, right, you know, it's it's going to burn up a lot. If you're if you're someone who's just sitting in the background, it was is a 1200 milliamp hour, 1300. 1200, 1300. And this, uh, so you need to show the. Uh, yeah, I already showed the back touch on there. Yeah. Um, and so the other play video in that tabletop mode. Uh, yes, you can play. I believe you can play video in the tabletop mode. Um, I've just used it as an alarm clock, but uh, I haven't right. even done it that way. Yeah, but yes, I, but I believe you can play video on the t in the tabletop mode. You also have the home screens on Android, which you're probably familiar with, which you can, you know, you have multiple home screens that comes configured. Now you can configure it a variety of different ways. So you can download with the marketplace. You can download Wi-Fi on off. You can download Bluetooth one off on off. Um, so it's got full Android Marketplace access, um, you know, and depending on the carrier, it'll have, you know, carrier-specific applications built into it as well. Um, got it. But this is just kind of the standard generic form that we're showing here today. Um, you guys are probably all familiar with Android, so there's probably not a whole lot of value in taking you through the, the basic Android stuff. Yeah, this is a both target consumer versus uh, business enterprise. What's that? Target more consumer than the uh, enterprise business particular, um, right? it's, it's probably a little bit of both. A little bit of both. Um, I would say it's more consumer oriented, but when you when you look at it, I use it for, it, you can get your corporate email on it. So I, I get um, my corporate email, I get my corporate calendar on here. Um, I also have my personal email. It syncs with, it syncs with uh, Microsoft Exchange. Um, it also syncs with, I have uh, we rent a Motorola run Google Apps, uh, the corporate version, but uh, I get my Google Apps and I also get my Exchange on there as well. I get my personal email on here. You can get Gmail accounts or you can set it up for your other personal email accounts. You can pull that. If I were a top design, what do you think whether it's good for people to do some PowerPoint slides for the clients? Those type of use cases. Oh, you could. You could. I mean, it has, if you download an email, it has a PowerPoint in there, it has a PowerPoint. Depending, depending on particular setup, uh, you can get like you know one of the apps that reads PowerPoint. And you can scroll across there and demonstrate PowerPoint on there. It's a little, you know, you're not gonna do presentations, right? But you know, for just quick things like that, it'll read PDFs, PowerPoints, your standard uh, Word and Excel documents. Um, what else can I tell you on here? Those are probably the big elements of it. Oh, God.